Home link 2-4, U.S. traditional multiplication. Today in class, students used the U.S. traditional multiplication to multiply two-digit numbers by one-digit numbers. Family note. Today, your child began learning a multiplication strategy called U.S. traditional multiplication. This strategy may be familiar to you as it is the multiplication strategy that many adults learned when they were in school. Your child will, learn, will be learning to use the U.S. traditional multiplication with larger and larger numbers over the next week or two. The traditional U.S. multiplication is often challenging for students to learn. Do not expect your child to use it easily right away. There will be plenty of opportunities for practice throughout the school year. So I repeat, it's going to be a challenge, and you might not get it right away, but we're going to keep practicing. As your child uses U.S. traditional multiplication to solve the problems below, encourage him or her to check the answers by solving the problems in another way or use an estimate. So you guys know the lattice. Maybe you might check it on a calculator, whatever way you feel most comfortable doing, partial products, however. So it gives you an example. Solve each problem using U.S. traditional multiplication. Show your work. I'm going to highlight this. Show your work. To get credit, you need to show your work. So your first step, I'm going to underline in red. So when I do, when I circle it, you can see it. So it says, multiply the ones eight times three. So here we are, our ones. And that equals 24 ones. So you write the four, here's my four. And then my two above, so write the four below the line and the two above the tens column. There's my two. Then multiply the tens. Ten times the tens, eight times seven, tens equals 56 tens. So I multiplied these two together and I got 56. I'm going to write that over here, 56. Then your next step is to add the two tens from the first step. 56 tens plus two tens equals 58 tens or five hundreds and eight tens. Write eight below the line in the tens column, so right here, and the five below the line in the hundreds column. So if you look carefully in purple, I'm gonna mark so I have my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. So let's do one together. You have number one says 56 times six. So my first step is I multiply my ones. Six ones times six ones is 36. I'm gonna write that off just to the side so we remember it's 36. So if I'm putting it in my ones column, I'm gonna write the six below the line underneath the other six, and I'm going to carry my three. My next step is I have to multiply five and six together. Six times five is 30. So I have my 30 tens over here, but let's not forget my 30 tens up here that I have to add. So plus three tens equals 33 tens. I put my first three below my five in the tens column, and then I put my next three in the hundreds. So I have 336. Number two is 96 times four. Be sure to check your work using whatever method you choose. Your practice, write each number in expanded form. So my key word here is expanded form. That, I want to see the sum of the values. So let's do number one together. I have 397. So my value of my 3 is 300, plus the value of my 9 is 90, plus 7. Let's do one more together. 5 is 4,082. So for 4... My value for 4 is 4,000. 
Then I have zero in the hundreds plus my eight is worth 80 and my two is worth two. Do the last two on your own.